Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got a big show lined up for you. Let's get right on into it. All right, let's pull up this screen here. Oh, yeah, ESPN Snowflake throws shade at the Vols. He's not happy at all, and he has gone pure snowflake on us. So let's get into this typical ESPN stuff. All right, let me pull up this article. This uh, ESPN guy, Chris Falica, who's also known as the Bear on ESPN. You saw him in the picture here. This dude right here, you've seen him on uh, game day. Well, he's all tore up and upset about uh, the Vols running up the score in Missouri. That's not to be done at ESPN. As you know, they're very sensitive over there. Uh, ESPN used to stand for Entertainment Sports Programming Network. It now stands for Especially Sensitive Persons Network because they, they are super sensitive about every little thing. So I'm not shocked by this. Let's pull up the article. It says ESPN analysts getting roasted for controversial uh, Tennessee comment. It says fans are coming for ESPN's Chris Falica, the bear, from college game day after recent comments he made regarding the end of the Tennessee-Missouri game, insinuating that the Vols beat Mizzou by too much. It says replying to a tweet from Jason Lisk of College Rankings asking why Tennessee kept scoring. And here he is. He says, I genuinely want to know how the coaches on the committee will feel about that. Look, I'm all for letting backups play, but this feels like a little too much. And a lot of responses were, what does the committee's feelings have anything to do with picking the top four teams? Another asked, ah, shucks, they scored too much. Let's pick a team that'll get beat by 30 in the playoff. And that came from Diamond Vols. Then another of all said, it's the other team's job to stop the other team in the field. It's not our obligation to just take a knee. The only thing I wish is that we could have gone ahead and scored 70. Smokey Vall said, one of the worst takes I've seen in my life. Now we're apparently not getting into the playoffs because we were meanies. What in the world, man? So basically, he thinks the people on the committee that are going to pick the top four college football playoff are really sensitive, and they're going to look at that extra touchdown that was scored by all our backups. The, the offensive line was backups, the quarterback, the wide receiver, the running back, all backups. They scored on Missouri, who had their starters out there. But because we scored 66, that's, that's a real problem because we were insensitive. And look, it's all about feelings today. You know, remember that. Even in football, you cannot hurt anybody's feelings. I actually have a, a little video of the folks up at ESPN, and they had a little incident and uh, kind of gives you an idea what it's like up there in uh, Bristol, Connecticut. I think you owe her an apology. We're dealing with a life and death emergency. <gasps> stop gaslighting me! <laughs> McKenna, stop! Yep, they are not going to let you gaslight them, and they, uh, they have to speak their truth. It's just the way it is. I also, um, and fortunate enough, I do have an ESPN rep that has agreed to come on the show, and so let's see what they have to say. And uh, have we got them linked up? They're linked. Okay. They are? Okay. They're, they're all the way up in Bristol, huh? Okay. Well, that's fine. Uh, let's ask them some questions. Let's start out with the first one. So why are y'all upset about the Vols scoring points? I don't get it. You know, this is a football game. It's the other team's job to stop the team from scoring. And Missouri's got the number 13 uh, defense in the country. And Tennessee's trying to get in the top four to play in, to get into the playoff. And they're, cert they're sitting at fifth. And score matters. You know, how, how many uh, points you beat a certain team really matters. Well, hello there, Sports Talk Jay. I'm a part of the sensitivity training there at ESPN, and uh, I'm, I'm here to talk to you a little bit. This is not really a discussion. This is just me explaining to you how things work. And when you go ahead and you score an extra touchdown, that affects how Missouri feels, okay? That upsets them. It upsets the coach. It upsets the players. It upsets the fans. And that's not fair. You were already way ahead, and you should have just need the ball. Had you need the ball, we wouldn't be in this predicament that everybody is in right now. Everybody at ESPN up here in Bristol is upset right now, okay? They're all into their feelings. They don't know how to deal with this, and you people don't care. And that's not right, okay? That is not right. We don't put up with that. Well, now, you folks didn't have any problem with Ohio State running up scores. They run up scores on those Big Ten opponents all the time. Those, those little weak teams that they play all the time, they'll run up a score no problem. You know, why don't you have a problem with Ohio State running up the score, scoring all those touchdowns in the fourth quarter when they're already up two or three or four touchdowns? I don't understand that. Did you seriously just talk to me that way? How dare you? 
How dare you, sir? You are not to speak to me in that tone ever again or question anything that I say. That right there is what we're talking about. That is that Southern mentality, that mean, nasty personalities that you have down there in the South. We're not putting, Ohio State is in the North, okay? We know how to treat people. You're all down there with your, your guns and your ammo and all the things that you do, hunting animals, and all the things that you do that we hate. And now you're running up scores on Missouri and it's just ridiculous. This is why we don't like you. And we're not going to like you. And as a matter of fact, I don't know why I agreed to even talk to a Southerner. I should never have done it. Now I'm all upset. I knew this would happen. You've got me all upset. I can feel it. It's, oh no, oh no, it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I'm getting upset. All right, all right. Sorry about that. I just, you know, wanted to bring up a point or two. I didn't know questioning you was going to get you all this all tore up and everything. I guess that's one of those microaggressions, or that might have been a macroaggression, actually. I'm not sure. I can't keep up with all the aggressions that there are. It's kind of like there's different levels of them. But as far as the bear over here, this guy giving us grief, you know, uh, it's just, it's ridiculous and it's typical ESPN nonsense. You know, now they're all of a sudden fired up about USC. Uh, what was it? A week ago, it was all about Oregon. Oregon deserves to be in front of Tennessee because they're just, oh, they've won so many games in a row. And, and really, the loss they had at a neutral site to Georgia by 40-some-odd points was equal to the 14-point loss, the only loss that Tennessee has all year, even though they have two top 10 wins. That, that's equal, according to ESPN and those folks. What is it, Kirk Herbstreet that said that? So, you know, that, that's just typical ESPN crap. That's what they do. And now it's USC. Oh, USC is the one that should be in front of UT. Even though we were ranked number one right off the bat when everybody else was undefeated. So it's just a bunch of crap. This is what they're going to do. And if USC gets beat, it'll be some other team that needs to be in front of us. We're actually fortunate that Oregon lost and also Ole Miss, really, because that's two teams they would have tried to put in front of us, especially if Ole Miss would have won the, uh, won the SEC tournament for sure, which I don't think they would have beat Georgia, but you never know. But as far as the bear is concerned, here's how I feel about the bear. Yeah, I'm with the Hulk on that one. Just throw him away. <laughs> anyway, I just thought I would cover this ridiculous person here that's just, oh, he got his feelings all hurt. And uh, I'm not a bit surprised. And I'm kind of like Josh Heupel. I'm just laughing about it because the heck with them. Look, they're going to do their ESPN crap. They're up there in Bristol, Connecticut. They're looking down their noses at everybody down here, especially Tennessee. It's typical. And if you like this content, be sure to hit the like button. Let's me know to continue to cover the balls. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'd certainly appreciate it. I've only been doing this about four months. I could use some subscribers. I sure could. And I hope you did like the content. We'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.